Now, I realize that I can certainly come across sometimes like angry, angry wrestling fan yelling at the internet. Sure thing. <laughs> certainly have earned that moniker. Um, and I understand that part of this video is going to come across like that, most likely. And again, that's probably fine. I really don't get bothered by that. I don't really care. Uh, but I have a feeling that somewhere as I talk through this video, most of you will probably agree with something that I say. I think. Because the WWE's recent announcement that they're unveiling a new World Heavyweight Championship just feels stupid to me on a variety of different levels. Now, of course, when they unveiled this, I think one of my first responses was, I can't wait to see how they keep that away from Cody Rhodes and don't let him get that. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, that would be kind of funny, but, you know, if that's where they went with this, is they said, well, we're not going to have a beat Roman, so I will have him win that belt instead. What a fucking downer of a consolation prize if there ever fucking has been one, right? Right? That would be some bullshit right there. But, but honestly, I just think this is stupid. Now, some of this comes from the fact of, I hate the thought of having two world champions in the same damn company. I'm a big believer in one world champion. I understand you have two shows, you have two brands, however you want to put it. You like to have your world champion appear on both shows, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, it kind of divides your interest in terms of, well, you're saying they're a world champion, but you're also saying they're a world champion. Who's your real champion? Like, I feel like it just kind of fucks up the whole hierarchy of the roster and the product and the brand when you have multiple world champions. I've never really been a big fan of it, frankly. Because you get to a point where you get to your big premium live events, your pay-per-views, if you will, like WrestleMania, and you're saying, hey, one of these world titles is not only not going to main event, in some cases, it's not even going to mid-card, it's going to open the damn show. That doesn't feel right for a world champion. So, yeah. Not a huge fan of it. For a lot of reasons, that's one of them. Number two here. Talking about not just having multiple world champions, but it feels like in some ways, in many ways, and even with some of the pot shots you were hearing, like Triple H and others take throughout the show, Raw show where this was unveiled, that they're doing this because... They don't think they're going to take the strap off of Roman at any point in time soon. And they want to have a world championship that actually appears on television. To which I would say, if it's that much of a problem for you, and if you feel the world title is that important for you to have on the show, then either you need to make sure Roman's on your shows every week, or ding dong, dumb dicks, take the fucking strap off of him. It doesn't feel like that crazy of a concept. I go in there talking about a part-time champion and this and that. Why in the fuck would you be undercutting a guy that's about to be 1,000 days as your top dude? That's stupid to me. Absolutely stupid. Damn near three years as champion. And especially for WWE, some of their recent business hasn't been bad. So why would you try and fuck up the formula? I don't get it. Part-time champion. I've seen a number of the full-time champions WWE has put out over the years. Ain't nothing to fucking write home about. I'd rather have a part-time great champion than a full-time garbage-ass champion. That's all I'm going to say. But if it's that big of a deal to you, and you want to have the damn world title on there, either make Roman show up more, or fucking take the strap off of him. That's stupid. Unbelievable. And then... When you think about this with both shows, talk about Raw and SmackDown. I understand titles can be valuable props and titles can help make stars. But at some point in time, similar criticism for AEW, right? You have too many fucking champions. Adding one more belt into the mix isn't going to be nearly as helpful as you think. You really start to get a diminished return there. And back to the previous point about wanting to have a champion full-time, you know what? If you say, hey, 
We feel like we're missing something without having a world champion on TV full time, not defending it on TV, etc. Then you know what you do? This is a crazy thought, I know. But you have an intercontinental title on one show. You have a United States championship on the other show. You make them into kind of your de facto quasi-world titles from a television standpoint, and you make the guys holding those belts into really big fucking deals, and you build a goddamn show around them. This is not that goddamn difficult. Adding another championship belt into the damn mix doesn't help that. It just further dilutes your damn product, and as a consequence, makes those other belts mean less. Instead, you could be elevating those two titles and making them feel more important, more significant, more prestigious. Not what you're doing, which is inevitably going to make them feel less so. In both cases, U.S. title and intercontinental title. And the thing is here is that if you want to say, well, they need to have that world champion, like how many people do they really have that you could even say are worthy of that? Furthermore, how can you really sit there and say they crown a new world heavyweight champion at Night of Champions and they're not going to feel like second tier or second class compared to Roman? Right? Like, I, again, I understand the WWE loves championships and they view them as very tight, valuable props. And they certainly can be, right? Championships can be valuable props. But this is a company that used to be able to make stars without having to put a world title on them. And I miss those days. This feels like you're trying to put a band-aid over a bullet hole in terms of your creative direction. Whether you want to blame that on Triple H or Vince, whoever you believe is really calling the shots at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Again, this feels like you're trying to put deodorant on somebody that ain't washed their ass in like a month. Guess what? Now you've just got deodorant Combining with body odor and it creates a whole new different type of stank. Feels like one of these cheap marketing ploys that just really doesn't pay off. You know, and, and another thing he could have done was now you got Roman talking about universal undisputed. He's not the undisputed champion anymore, so that's kind of dumb. But he's also not just the WWE champion. Like, a lot of this shit just doesn't make sense. And on top of that, I'm not particularly huge on the design of the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Feels like you took the old WCW title, or the WWWCW title if you get my drift, <laughs> and you just basically shat out the WWE logo right in the fucking center of it. It doesn't look terrible, it just, mm. Design is kind of, Ugh. So yeah, consider me not a big fan of this. Consider me not supportive of this really at all. Because I don't think it addresses some of the underlying problems. I don't think it does anything but undercut the existing champion that you have and make the person that you would put this strap on look kind of weak in the process too. That's just me though. You guys let me know what you think. Are you really down with this? Do you love the thought of it more than the reality of it? Do you think like, hey, this is legitimately a good idea. It's going to get somebody else to shine as a world champion. Like it doesn't make much of a difference anyways. But now you have somebody that will be on TV every week and wrestling more regularly on TV. They could be world champion. And is that even a good thing? Like lots of questions that I could ask all of you. But I want to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you love this idea? Or are you on my side and thinking that this is pretty stupid?